what's going on friends family hope y'all are doing well man apologize for getting started pretty late tonight excuse me y'all yeah get my get my camera together but nonetheless we are live welcome back to the channel um for those of you that are new to the channel uh my name is audrey truesdale I'm an entrepreneur right here in North Carolina, and I help entrepreneurs and business owners streamline getting access to capital using a simple five-step process to start, grow, and fund their business. Um, so what we do here on this channel every week, we go live normally on Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Tonight, we got to start a little bit late, so I do apologize for that. Um, had some things going on. But we're going to get into it tonight, man. I actually wanted to continue our five-step series training, um, but I kind of got a bone to pick. And, and it's not necessarily aimed at one specific person, but it's more so aimed at a lot of bullshit going on with these vendor accounts, man. A lot of people are putting stuff out on the internet and these Facebook groups. Um, you got people spending money on A to B gas card, which never reported and people still signing up for A to B as if it's the hot new gas card. When I come on here every week and tell y'all about the BP MasterCard, which has never not reported. So I don't understand what's going on, but we're going to try to put it into it. We're going to try to put it to bed. So for everybody watching this in the Facebook group, you know, if you want to head on over to YouTube, man, join the conversation. Um, but if you are in the Facebook group and you're watching this live stream, make sure that you give StreamYard permission so that we can see your name and we can give you credit for your question. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get into it. Yeah. See, and this is this is what we're going to get into tonight. Sloan. So tap in, let me know where you where you tapping in from. Um, you know, city and state. But yeah, well, this is what we're gonna get into tonight, Sloan, because it's it's a lot of BS going out. It's a lot of BS with all these vendor accounts, you know, affiliate stuff is cool, you know. Um, it's a time and a place for affiliate things, but at the end of the day, if you're putting out information, at least have data points on it, right? Like I would never come on here and tell y'all to get A to B if I never had A to B myself, right? Or if I use it and report it, then I would say, hey, look, yo, grab that A to B card, right? Um, or even with Divi, right? I wouldn't come on here and tell y'all, hey, I got, you know, sign up for Divi, da, 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 without me getting approval or going through the process. So I just think a lot of people now are experts without being an expert um not to say that i'm an expert but uh in my expertise of building our business profiles getting access to capital uh learning the steps you know being able to obtain over one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars in funding for one business being able to now eclipse over two hundred thousand dollars in both business credit and person business funding i just think it's important that you know information that gets out it has to be accurate right it has to be some validity to it it can't just be hearsay it can't just be oh well this person said get this car a to b whatever and i'm not picking on a to b but it's just a lot of bs right even with you know um the e-credible e-credible has never reported there's never been any proof that e-credible ever reported the trade line so you just got a lot of bad information out there man so we're gonna get into it tonight man you know like like the title says man we're gonna stop wasting money on these trade lines that don't report we're gonna we're gonna cut through all the bs we're gonna give you guys some trade lines that you can open up so if you if you're starting at tier one if you're watching this on the replay and you have not built out your business credit profile or even if you have established business credit profile you're looking for some more trade lines to add to it that report to the business bureaus uh, tonight, we're going to really deep dive into how to actually get trade lines that report. We're going to break down the gas cars, right? We're going to bust down the net 30s. We're going to talk about it, right? So again, you know, as y'all come into the room, if you're watching this on the Facebook, 
make sure y'all you know give stream yard y'all permissions to um so we can see your name and, and give you credit for your for your um for your question but yeah man we're gonna get into it tonight man tapping in where y'all tapping in from man hope you all had a great week man it's been a pretty awesome week man we're putting finishing touches on our online training uh the strategy calls have been going great man been really meeting a lot of awesome people man so um if you're new to the channel um make sure you text the word free is down below text the word free to 980-825-4360 again it's 980-825-4360 uh to set up your free strategy call where we can actually walk you through how to build your business credit profile we can show you how to find banks that are lending we can help you with whatever challenges that you have right um and, and really help you get clarity on what things you need to be doing now and in the future to get access to capital for your business okay so text the word free to 980-825-4360 to set up your free strategy call you can leave your wallet in your at home you can leave it in your dresser you don't need anything this is a free call uh, we actually helped a couple people get you know approved for business gas cards we helped uh, one guy he helped them get approved for an amex card on the call so yeah tap in with us you know um and, and let's see if we can help you get uh access to capital um so yeah so text free to that number also 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 if you have not yet make sure you join our free facebook group um it is 100 free i'm in there all the time chiming in with all the members it's a community man it's not just uh a facebook group right like every sunday we open up the group to actually promote your business so if you join the, the group you have the opportunity to promote your business let us know what you do in business who do you serve how can we support how can we order from you how can we go to your website how can we drive more traffic to your business inside of the facebook group right the community is growing we got almost 800 people in there i want to get it to a thousand okay um so let's let's kind of <clears throat> you know let's build a community right so if you if you look below it's the facebook group business credit builders group um we, we're growing you know it's a great community uh we got a lot of sharp people in there a lot of talented business owners so make sure you join the community family and when you come all we ask is that you just hit answer the questions so we know you're not a bot we know you're not just you know a random robot or somebody that's just a looky loo trying to steal information and go to the next group we know how y'all do we know y'all group hop so yeah we're gonna make sure that you come in correct you know we know y'all group hopping y'all trying to steal all the gems everybody's a guru everybody you know can help you build business credit and charge you thirty five hundred dollars to get you a bunch of net 30s and gas cards that i get up here every week and preach to y'all 80 paydex strategy two nav accounts two gas cards it's it's amazing it's amazing uh what the internet has done especially with you know facebook shutting down the other day ig going down i made a post on my facebook i was like um facebook shut down ig shut down but i still was getting you know you know text to free strategy calls that's because i built this on youtube right um not saying i own youtube you know i got a small part in the whole hemisphere of youtube but i think i think um and, and it's growing you know it's, it's it's getting bigger and bigger every week right you know um hopefully you know everybody who's subscribed to the channel you getting value from it you know like i said you know i talked to one gentleman right here in my city in charlotte man and it was interesting man you know it was an older guy older than me man and he was just saying that he was so thankful that i allowed you know um offered up the free strategy call to give him some free game man we helped him find some banks here in the local area he looking to get into multifamily real estate and it's just interesting because he said he spoke to somebody else earlier this week who was charging thirty five hundred dollars for net 30s and building out the business profile and i get up here every week and i give y'all trade lines right i tell y'all who's reporting who's not reporting so you know my name good in these streets i'm i'm i'm, I'm a1 i i'm i'm good everywhere with, when it comes to this business credit so you know i'm straight um but again we're gonna get into it man i'm tapping in queens in the building elwood my brother great call last night shout out to erica man classy clown blog man she doing her thing man shout out to erica man 
love Erica Williams, Classy Climb channel. Um, but yeah, man, definitely shout out to her. Great call last night, man. Uh, my guy Santana, man, them Niners, man. We ain't, I don't know if this our year, Santana. I was hopeful. We started off on a hot streak, bro, but that cooled off real quick. Them Niners, man. I said, Lord have mercy. What's going on, Miss Ivorine? What's happening? What's happening? I would definitely tell the missus hello as well. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sloan. Yeah, man. We're going to get into this tonight. We're going to really break this down tonight. How to get tier one established without paying $3,500, without going to all these different gurus who lying to you, telling you they can help you build business credit, and then they say some bull crap. I mean, we all grown, right? Um, ATL in the building. ATL. Love ATL. Georgia. Harlem. What's going on, Harlem, New York, NYC, man? We definitely going to tap in with NYC, man. We're going to do a meetup. I'm thinking we're going to do it in Queens. I think my man Elwood, we're going we gonna to work it out. We're going to do either Queens or Brooklyn, peace on earth. So tap in. Definitely um, more to come on that top of the year. But we definitely going to do a meetup in Tri-State, Jersey, New York. It's probably going to either be Queens or Brooklyn. Um, but we'll, we'll have more info on that soon. What's going on, my good brother Edward? Man, up in Chicago, Shot Town. We're gonna get into it. Miss Danielle, what's going on? ATL in the building. What's up, Jay? We definitely gotta tap in tonight, man. We're gonna definitely tap in. We're gonna get you straight with these net 30s, man. Also, if you want to come and join the live stream, I'm gonna put the live stream in the chat. I'm going to put the live stream in the chat. So if you want to join on YouTube, I'm also put it in the chat on Facebook. So bear with me. Uh, I'm going to put it in the chat as soon as I can get back to the group. Sorry about that, y'all. But we're going to get into it tonight, man. We're going we're gonna to bust this down, man. We're going to really get into this, how to build business credit, how to actually get trade lines that report right no more bs a to b that never reports probably will never report no more e credible all this other bull crap people out here selling you uh my man justin tapping in on the facebook from uh montgomery in the building what's going on miss lynette if y'all in the facebook group just make sure y'all give stream yard permission uh, and if you want to come on the live stream and you are in the Facebook group, just uh, I put I posted it there. Um, so let me know where y'all tapping in from Texas in the building. What's going on, K Tex man? How you hope hope all is well out there in Texas, man? I gotta definitely get out to Texas, man. We're thinking about doing the DFW Houston Austin Texas meetup, something to that effect. We're gonna we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna definitely make it happen. What's going on, Mr. John? um let's see let's see let's see um let's get it uh what else we got atl qc dang man y'all going fast philly in the building what's going on philly love philly love them larry cheese steaks i think it's larry's man uh steve let me know if it's larry's cheese steaks out there uh i think it's in north philly yeah some good food What's going on, New York in the house, child? My guy, my guy, what's happening? Uh, Ty, the credit guy. Yeah, man, had to go get a fresh lineup, brother. Had to come clean, had to come correct today, man. I've been wolfing it the last couple uh, live streams, man. Uh, Columbia, South Cat, what's going on, Columbia? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Appreciate you. What's up, Queen City in the building every week? You know we repping Charlotte, baby, all day and day. Yes, yes, yes. What's up, Miss Rachelle? Glad to have you from St. Louis. The go, uh, it's the show me state, right? St. Louis is the show me state. You better believe it. Uh, shout out to Nelly Sloan ATL. What's happening? What's happening? Got the paper and pen. Tampa, we definitely gonna do a meetup in Tampa. That's already on the books, William. We, we we already established that. Now we're thinking South Florida. I'm gonna talk to my OG Lamar, man. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna work that out for South Florida, but we definitely coming to Tampa. That's that's not even that's not even a question. Yeah, Jay, we're gonna definitely get these gurus up out of here, man. We gotta get them up out of here. And I'm not even saying it. I'm not I'm not even mad that they're getting a bag, but it comes a point where integrity is like, yo, like you 
taking people money. And I'm out here every week on the live streams giving game, giving plays. So it's like, eh. you know, at some point the integrity factor come into play, man. Not to say that, you know, don't get a bag, you know, charge a, a reasonable, you know, fee. But it's just getting to the point where a lot of BS, a lot of bull job information is out on the, the, the Internet. And then you got people going and getting these trade lines, getting these vendor accounts and then oh the trade line don't report or oh so and so told me to get open up the, the, the this new fleet card or, or or people saying oh I got an Amex card with no PG because they didn't pull a hard inquiry it's like come on man come on man let's get it what's going on Facebook um yeah, nah, definitely, Bonita. Um, you know, that's what I'm here for, man. Just trying to spread the word, man. Help as many business owners, man. Like I said, my goal is to help each and every last one of y'all get access to as much capital as possible, man, to the tune of 250000 So we're going to make that goal happen. My guy, look at you. My boy said I got approved for 25 k credit card from Navy. That's what's up, bro. Salute. Every week, Santana. You never disappoint me, bro. Right up in the trade four. Never disappoint me, dog. Every week you coming with a new approval, man. I told you you're gonna keep this thing going. Y'all think I'm y'all think I'm playing. Every week we getting approvals, man. Every week. I just got a DM uh yesterday on Instagram. One of one of the guys in our Facebook group got a 15k business credit card. My guy Santana, 25k name credit card. Told y'all I'm doing this every week. I don't understand what y'all. I digress, man. I digress. Wednesday nights got too much going on. Erica, oh yeah, Erica is truth, man. I love Erica. Uh huh. Yeah, we're gonna get you that line of credit. With don't even trip. Jersey in the building. What's up, man? I appreciate you. It's a vibe, man. We definitely had a good talk, man. You definitely doing your thing, man. I'm looking forward to all your your funded success, man. And, and, and like I told you, bro. I can help you in any way, man. Definitely, you know, I'm just a phone call away. Uh, Shy Town, what's going on, Edward in the Shy? West Side of Shy. I, I, I rock with the I rock with the Shy, but I got love for the West Side of Chicago always, man. That's where I was. I was around uh, when I was in Chicago, and I went over there to Harold's. What was that, Madison? The Harold's on Madison. <laughs> if you have not had those Harold Mouth Sauce wings. Don't play yourself. If you go to Chicago and you don't get the Harold's with the mild sauce and the bread, you ain't go to Chicago. And you got to get the Portillo hot dog. You got to get the hot dogs or the beef, the beef and cheddar. Yeah, one of the two. But I digress, man. What's going on, Temple, Texas in the building? What's going on, man? Temple, welcome, welcome, welcome. What part of Temp What part of Texas? Is that Central Texas? Is that near like... Um, Austin, Texas. Just curious. What's up, James? What's going on, my brother? Montgomery in the building. What's up, Jace? Justin? What's going on, Miss Nosha? Iowa. Iowa. Hawkeyes. Right on. Shout out to Iowa in the building. Oh, uh, man. Y'all showing love tonight, man. We're going to get into this, man. We Enough with the bull crap trade lines, man. So, if you're watching this, share this out. Make sure you get everybody on this live stream tonight, man. We're going to really bust these trade lines down. We're going to really set this tier one foundation. I actually, this wasn't even the live stream for tonight. Remember, we on step five. We actually, now we at the point where we're ready to go walk in the bank and get some funding. But I just had to come on here and just, you know, give it to everybody straight. No chaser, man. Yeah, you know I mean. What's going on, Rev? Yeah, man. Had to come in, I had to come correct tonight. Rev had to get the fresh cut on him, man. Hope everything is going well down in sunny Florida. DFW in the building. Uh, let's see. Got the Navy Federal Business Debit Card. Salute, James. That's good. That's a good relationship. Navy is good. Navy is good. Navy is a great bank for business funding, man. Uh, Rev say Trini by way of Florida. Right on, right on. Ah, I, I don't know, Santana, man. I love my Niners, but this this ain't our year, bro. I don't know. I ain't going to say that. We just got to see. We got to see. We got 
four games in, we two and two, so we gotta turn it around, man. I don't know. Coach gotta, you know, we got a nice little young squad, but we'll see. B Shaw, what's going on? ATL. It's Pats. That's it. Pats Cheese State. Pats. Okay. Right on. All right. Miss Rachelle, what's going on? My guy William, Diane, what's going on from Cali? What's up? What's up from California? Miss Diane, she's going to get that real estate. She ready to get them, them properties. She ready to get them properties. They can't hear you in the back. <laughs> hey, they're going to feel me tonight. Hey, they're going to feel me, Jane. Yeah, man. Uh, somebody said, I swear, bro, if they put that same in and fix it. Yeah. I mean, it's just one of them things where I think a lot of people, this is my opinion, you know, um, a lot of people claim to be a guru instead of helping people. When I get on here, when I get on the mic, I'm trying to, you know, give game and help as many people as possible. I don't really give a crap about being a guru. I don't care. That's not what I'm in it for uh, at the end of the day. You know, this channel is not for me to get on here and talk and be a talking head and talk about how I'm a guru is to get y'all some game every week. We're going to tap in. You know, uh, and we're gonna get this money. We're gonna get this bag. We're gonna we're gonna build these businesses. We're gonna do it right. We're gonna make sure we're not making no mistakes. We're gonna make sure that we build it a profile. We're gonna make sure we structure our per personal credit. We're gonna make sure we having conversations with the bank. We're not just going in there ripping and running the bank to bank and trying to get money from any and everywhere. We're gonna be strategic. We're gonna line the banks up. They're not gonna line us up. We're going to line the banks up. We're going to go in the banks and we're going to interview the banks. It's not the other way around on this channel. Believe that. It's not the other way around. Oh, man. Happy birthday to you, my brother. Happy birthday, man. I definitely understand that, man. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely circle back around next week, bro. Enjoy that, man. Another trip around the sun, man, for sure. Dallas, Texas. My guy, DeAndre, man. He got that 15K on him yesterday, man. Sell out to you. Uh, my boy William said he need that hot sauce. <laughs> yeah, that mild sauce a trip. Yeah, love the west side of the shop, man. New Orleans in the building. New Orleans in the building. Um, somebody said I'm still waiting for Lowe's and Best Buy. I cancel A to B or whatever based on you. Yeah, A to B is trash right now as far as reporting wise. Now, if you just need a gas card, then yeah, A to B is cool, it's dope. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't even mess with it right now. It's just not the time. You know, at some point, A to B will come around. We don't know. Um, not bashing them per se, not wanting to crap on them, but it's just not a solid trade line. And the thing is, a lot of people recommend A to B. A lot of people say, oh, you know, they do a whole video, a whole live stream on A to B and how it's so great. But how is it great if, one, you didn't open up the trade line, and then you get on the microphone or you get on YouTube and tell everybody to go get A to B so you can get your little affiliate rocks off? It's just it's integrity, man. What, what what are we doing? Are we helping people or are we just getting on YouTube to, to be a talking head and, and make everybody subscribe? And then once everybody subscribe we get the bag and then run off and nobody nobody get funded every week you see this and i'm not this not even scripted every week since we've been back doing these live streams i have came on here and had an approval and tell me if i'm lying go back and watch this if you're watching this on the replay go back to the first live stream in august when we got back on the live streams every wednesday and tell me if i didn't come on here and have an approval every week every week since it's october every week i've had an approval and y'all can go back and watch this like go back and watch the live stream from august all the way to now and tell me if i didn't get on this microphone on this live stream and say hey so and so got approved for this so and so got approved for that I just showed y'all Santana say he got a 25K Navy Federal credit card. My guy De DeAndre, DeAndre, he just got 15K yesterday. My guy just got 15K business credit card. 
FNBO. Every week, there's approvals on this channel. So obviously, I'm telling y'all something correct. <laughs> you know? Um, so yeah, so, you know, just enough with the BS. Um, I don't try to get on here and, and toot my own horn. Um, but one thing I will say is I'm all about the results. I'm all about the results. If, if whatever's going to bring the results, I'm with it. Like I said, whatever's going to bring the results, my guy DeAndre, he executed. He got that 15K. Santana, every week, he tapping in with approval. My man came today with the 25K. He going to make me go get another Navy Federal 25 band credit card. I, I was trying to chill on the personal credit cards, but Santana going to pull me back in. Keep on getting them 25K approval, but every week we getting approval. So, obviously, it's something, something going on. You know what I mean? Um, eat credible is crash. Yeah, Rev. I mean, they just never reported. I've never seen what they reported. I've never seen what they reported to DMB. I never saw what they reported to Equifax. I could be wrong, bro. I could be wrong. And if I am, I'll come on live next week and say I am. If somebody watching this on the replay or DM me on Instagram, show me that you got the trade line from Eat Credible that reports. And I'll come on here and say, hey, nah, they do report. But I have not met that person that has the Eat Credible trade line on their business profile. So it is what it is. Illmatic, what it do? Uh, what are your thoughts on business cred and REM reporting? R-H-E-M. I'm not sure what REM is, but I think you mean business credit uh builders i think they report um i'm honestly personally i'm I'm wrapping up my online training so i've been kind of in the lab this last week i'm gonna put out some i'm gonna apply for some vendor accounts that's borderline illmatic and then i'll report back in a couple weeks i'll actually personally be the guinea pig you know i'm, I'm gonna be the guinea pig for the channel uh so that y'all don't have to really waste time now remember at the end of the day, when we're talking about funding, the goal is to build the profile and then move to bank funding, right? Or if you're looking to get out of tier one, tier two, tier three, we're going to get into that tonight. All right. So, yeah, man. Uh, 15K on them. Easy. That was light work, too, DeAndre. That was light work. My bro said, should I apply? I said, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's get it uh texas in the building michael buchanan what up what up you right there are approvals every day actually i want to go to sam so bad <laughs> hey man just be patient you know one thing about it we got to trust the process we got to make sure we trust the process we got to make sure we set structuring our business properly on the front end now one thing i want to say I put on my instagram uh even though we're talking about business credit, you know, I in the space, I, you know, get on here and talk my talk about how to build business credit, right? Um, but one thing we got to keep in mind is that as entrepreneurs and business owners, whether we get in funding or not, right? Um, we still got to make some shape. We got to go out here and, and set the tone, right? So, so I, I put this on Instagram and it basically said, you know, I know we preaching business credit, business and personal, but the truth be told with or without the credit, you still got to be able to make shit shake. Hope you <clears throat> hope that don't go over your head. And, 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 and just to kind of clarify what I mean by that statement. Right. Let me get this off of here. Right. So think about it. I started my business. In 2014, my first creative real estate business in 2014 with a tax refund check. I didn't have no credit. I just had to go get them bandit signs. Uh, took me eight months to get my first deal, right? Um, now, could I have done it in less time with credit? Maybe. Maybe I could have invested in some postcards at the time. Maybe I could have invested in some mentorship. But I say that to say, like, I didn't even really, it wasn't even an option to not start that business without having access to business credit. Um, so 
for those of you who may have credit challenges or maybe not have established personal credit or maybe don't have the funding right now to get you know vendor trade lines or even pay for llc but you got that dream and you want to you know be an entrepreneur you want to be a business owner just get out here and make it happen man use whatever resources you got and, and just grind and work and work and build you know network more if you don't have money network more get around people that have fun access to capital right i'm, I'm bringing the meetups back right we're gonna be start doing meetups right come to the meetups network with everybody there find out what they do go to every single bank and figure out what programs they have maybe you can you, you can do what i do right you can start helping people build business credit just from you know putting the pieces of the puzzle together but whatever you do you got to get out here and make shit shake so just keep that in mind y'all right we talking about business credit we talking about funding the funding is not a magic pill right we still got to structure the business properly we still got to make sure that we got the kpis down that we're hiring the right people that we're getting the right training the right coaching okay we got to make sure that we put a piece of the puzzle together it, it does you no good to get all this funding and you really don't have an execution strategy on what you're going to do with the funding Let's get clear on what we're using this funding for first and foremost, right? And then let's go out here and execute. But I digress. But I just had to, uh, you know, talk my talk on the ground. We're going to get into it, man. Um, my guy said, and I have receipts and emails to prove it. A lot of that is credited to me. Nah, bro. I told you, bro. I told you every week you out here doing the work, man. You executing, bro. It ain't got nothing to do with me. You executing, you running the plays. I'm just giving you, I'm just giving you the, the, the playbook. At the end of the day, I'm just the coach. I'm just giving you the playbook. I'm saying, hey, run this play on this down and distance. Um, all right, if they pressing us, we're gonna run this press break trap, whatever. But that's it, man uh paydex um 80 paydex see there we go oh man michael said he got the 80 paydex man but we're gonna get into it man we're gonna get into it uh my guy said i have been using them for a while and they report how can i message you okay uh chowder is it a to b that's reporting is that who we're, we're referring to um let me know uh here's my nav audrey please remember that uh, i don't know who it is but we're gonna get into it man uh my guy said personal credit 750 my first business card was a chase business unlimited only 5k limit though that could be that maybe you didn't have a business profile established or maybe we gotta look take a look at what your highest personal revolving limit is we, we, we could we could we could break it down hatchet if you want to come on the live stream uh i'll put the link in here um uh, and we could we could we could we can chop it up for sure uh hatchet so if you want to if you want to tap in man i just put the link to the live stream in here if you want to come on the live stream and we can kind of take a look at it um for sure for sure what up Jew? carolina in the building you already know my guy make sure y'all uh follow my guy Jew man he got the youtube channel he's showing y'all how to close deals man that man a closer bro that man is a closer when i say that man get deals he get deals bro i'll be i'll be taking notes Jew. i don't think you be know i'll be on your ig i'll be i'll be writing down I'll be like, okay i gotta use that yeah that's that's fire right there i'm like yeah i'm gonna use that line when i when i get it when i get a seller and they in that predicament yeah i'm gonna use that and i gotta take i'll be watching Jew, but yeah that's my guy man definitely man shout out to you salute to you you already know how we do man carolina's in the building man you know what i mean uh okay child man well look bro let's do this man come on the live stream right the link is in the in the description is, is in the chat and let's talk about it let's talk about incredible bro i'm not saying that incredible is trash i just never saw a report um now i could be wrong i could be wrong bro i i'm totally fine with saying that i could be wrong um and i'm more so speaking about a to b and uh 
What's another one, man? A lot of these bull crap trade lines, man. Um, even Vistaprint. I heard I heard Vistaprint don't report, so I don't know. I don't know, man. But we're gonna get into some ones that report tonight, man. Uh deck deck. She said this is good. Appreciate it. Uh Miss Love and ATL. ATL be showing love, man. Shout out to Georgia, man. Appreciate everybody in Atlanta. That's like second home to me. Also, we're gonna get into it after this. I keep saying we're gonna get into it. We're gonna definitely get into it. Real quick, next week. The collaboration tour comes to the city. It comes to Charlotte, North Kakalaki. I will be speaking on how to build business credit. October 14th, it goes down in Charlotte, North Kakalaki, North Carolina. So make sure you're in the building, man. The doors open at 5 p.m. Go to the collaborationtour.com to register for the event, man. I want to meet each and every one of y'all, man. When y'all come out, you know, I want to shake your hand. I want to, you know, find out how we can get you some funding, man. That's the name of the game. At the end of the day, the job is to help you get funding for your business, okay? So make sure y'all come out next Thursday, October 14th, Charlotte, North Carolina, Raleigh, Greensboro, Columbia, Charleston. Make sure y'all come out, man. Show, show your boy some love, man. And uh, I want to meet everybody, man. So if you're in the Carolinas, Virginia, Georgia, y'all come out, man. And, and, and let's network. Let's build. But the collaboration tour is going down. All right. It's going down next Thursday. Yes, indeed. All right, man. We're going to get into it. Uh, my guy said, does AMX do another hard pull? If you already No. Uh, so Black August, that's a good point. They will not do another hard inquiry. Once you are in with MX, they won't pull your credit again. Um, no. So that's that's a good question though. Uh, once you get that first approval with MX, they don't do another hard inquiry. Um, I got Edward said I got eighty payday, eighty five experience, three fifty Equifax. Okay, yeah, we can get into it. Edward. We can definitely get into it, man. We're gonna get into the to the live stream tonight. What's good? I have too many recent inquiries. Six months ago, checked credit score this week and saw medical collections randomly. Hmm, sound like we may need to get you some credit repair or, or do a verification letter to make sure that whatever is reporting as a medical collection comes off because that's a violation of HIPAA. Um, Ms. Lovin said, I'm bank applying and working on opening up two NAV accounts. That's good. That's a good start. The two NAV accounts is the easiest route to building out your profile. Two NAV accounts, two gas cards, 80 paydex strategy. All right. Let's get into it. Um, let's see. Let's see. Took me two years. Now I have the cash to start the business. There you go, Michael. I think you're doing real estate. If I'm not mistaken, my brother, um, my guy, Jay Jew said Dallas in the building, DFW, what it do, what it do. Um, yeah, chowder. Yeah, definitely, man. Um, I put the link in the, in, in the, in the chat, man, to join the live stream, bro. So I would, I would like to come on the live and let's talk about it, man. Cause I mean, if E-Credible reports, when did they report? How long have you had the trade line? I mean, let's break it down. Let's get some data points on it. Cause I mean, if we can help somebody else set up eCredible, I mean, hey, you know, I just never saw a report and I never saw anybody who said it did. Uh what's up, that deck? Uh please don't forget to send the link. Oh, absolutely. Just remind me. Uh if, if I got you. St. Louis in the building on on check. I don't know what game you give him, but I got mine. <laughs> All right, E War Bucks, man. We're gonna make sure you get some of this game tonight, man. Um, I have a Navy Federal car loan, but didn't qualify for a credit card. I'm confused. They got different rules for for auto versus revolving cars. Navy Federal has an internal scoring system, so technically, uh, even if you got a 700 credit score per se, FICO score. They do their own internal um, scoring model. So maybe you may not hit all the data points for the scoring model. It's possible. Uh, I, will, I will just ask the real deal. How long ago was that when you applied for the credit card? Because it could be that. Um, all right. So 
what's a good account to get on the first and tier oh yeah jg we're gonna get man you your question was right on time so let's get into it man tonight we're gonna be talking about how to get business credit at tier one right so what i want to do is i want to pull up my screen right and aside from the two nav accounts right so we got the 80 pay their strategy right which i pretty much birthed and put on the map right uh what we talk about two nav accounts so if you're not familiar with the two nav account strategy you need to go back to last last week live stream uh step number four where we talked about how to actually uh set up your business profile so tonight we're just gonna deep dive a little bit further into tier one right because remember even even with my first ever video on this channel if you go back to my first video ever on youtube i gave y'all 10 trade lines at tier one that you could get still right now <laughs> that report to the bureau you could you could go back and watch my first video on this channel and build business credit just off of that first video forget what we talk about tonight but no don't forget what we're talking about tonight I want you to pay attention. But if you go back to the first video on this channel, the very first video back in March, I gave away the whole play on how to build tier one. No e credible, no A to B, none of these other vendors, Wayfair, Floor and Decor, none of that. It's real simple. It's real simple. Two nav accounts, two gas cards. 80 pay that strategy it's real simple yep see see diane i gave it away on the first video i ever did on this channel i gave y'all 10 i'm gonna give y'all more tonight we got 10 gas cards right now we got 10 gas mm -hmm. cards we're gonna get into right now so again just go back to the first video if you're confused on what tier one vendor accounts to open and then we're gonna get we're gonna get right into it tonight so we're gonna talk about the gas cards right now one thing i want to mention with the gas cards there is a such thing as bank compliance right which means you want to make sure that you got your website your info at your domain name you want to be listed on your 411 um well not necessarily listed but you want to have a website you want to be listed um so go back to week uh no not week two go back to step number two's live stream maybe about three weeks ago you do want to be bank compliant for the gas cars because they are a little tougher to get right now they are cracking down a little bit on um having all of that set up set up so um again y'all um bank compliance is important that's why step number two it's not it's not something that you can take lightly at this point in the game because you got to remember banks like to lend to businesses that look good on paper so if you can set up your bank compliance if you can afford the the, the money i will say it um but let's talk about the gas car so you know I love the DP MasterCard. That's a tier one easy approval that you can get at tier one for a gas card, right? So remember the A payday strategy, two nav accounts, two gas cards. I'm not going to get into how to set up the two nav accounts, but if you go back and watch my first video on the channel, like Miss Diane said, I broke that whole play down. Um, and even last week's uh, live stream, I broke the whole play down on how to get the two nav accounts. But the BP MasterCard, that is a great tier one gas card, okay? Now, for my West Coast folks, you can't, uh, instead of the BP MasterCard, you would do the Arco. So you want to grab the Arco MasterCard, okay, uh, if you're on the West Coast. So if you're watching this on the replay you're in Phoenix, you're in uh, Vegas, uh, California, san diego los angeles san francisco you want the arco version okay uh if you're in the south east coast new york new jersey bp mastercard atlanta bp mastercard florida florida has arco and bp uh so you could go either way in florida um texas i don't know for sure 
I don't know for sure. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, um, but yeah, so the fuel man is another tier one gas card. And remember tonight, we're going to give you the foundation, your tier one foundation. All of these, these trade lines report to the business bureaus. Now the bit, the beauty of the BP MasterCard is that it reports to all three business bureaus, right? Is backed by fleet core bank. So it reports to all three business bureaus. Now, why is that important? Well, for one, business Equifax is one of the hardest bureaus to build business credit for. So let's just take a step back, right? You only need four trade lines on the business profile to have a solid tier one business profile. We're going to give you way more than four tonight. But just in general, you only need about four. And then let's move on to bank funding. Now, some people want to build out tier one and get into tier two right so this video you need to pay close attention make make sure you take some notes so you want to get the bp mastercard if you're in the south or if you're in the east coast if you're in jersey philly uh new york bp mastercard um and then if you're on the west coast arco so if you're in arizona you know san diego los angeles you want the arco version okay um and that should be your first gas card at tier one all right and then next after you get the bp or the arco then you want to get the fuel man fuel man is on fire right now fuel man we've been getting approvals left and right with that fuel man mastercard the fleet version so you want to get the fuel man um let me see if i can pull it up i'm gonna pull it up um and again if y'all want to come on a live stream let's have a let's 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 talk about it man let's let's chat it up man if, it, if there's some some um some trade lines i'm not aware of let's 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 chop it up man i want to be educated i'm i'm not a i'm not a guru at all i don't i don't know everything man so uh y'all definitely tap in with me let me see if i can share my screen i want to show y'all which fuel man card i like um because there are different versions of the fuel man card so the one that you want to be mindful of is the fleet version. That's the one we've been getting approvals for. Um, so let's do this. 28205. Whoops. Let's get it. Um, hold on, man. I don't want to do all that. What is Fuel Man doing? Apply for instant decision. Fuel man is doing the most right now. And again, if you're watching this on the replay, we're talking about vendor accounts that you can get at tier one that report to the business bureaus, right? We want everything we're talking about tonight. So this is the one I like, the fuel man fleet. This one right here, okay? Um, now you can do the MasterCard. You can go for that one. That one can be uh, used outside of the pump, but... If you just want a gas card that you can use and get it reporting to the business bureau, then you want to get the fleet version. OK, and that one has been good. Um, I had one lady in our Facebook group. She got approved for the BP MasterCard, I think 11 grand. And she got the fuel man for 7500. So she got almost 20 K um, and for two gas cards. But the beauty of the fuel man and the BP MasterCard, they report to all three business bureaus. All right. So just. Keep that in mind that the fuel man and the BP or Arco, if you're on the West Coast, of course, um, um, substitute BP for Arco. It could be either or, depending on what part of the country you're in. Um, but those two are good tier ones. And then fuel man. Now, Wex, the Wex fleet card. Um, I still like the Wex card. I still like the Wex fleet card. It is a little tougher to get. So when you book your free strategy call, one of the things we can we can work with you on um is and i'll put the link here below for those of you who are watching on the replay if you text free to 980-825-4360 <clears throat> let's set up a free strategy call on the strategy call we can kind of walk you through everything we're talking about tonight showing you how to build out your business profile show you how to structure your personal credit how to find banks 
how to actually interview banks all of that good stuff right so one thing with wex they are doing a soft inquiry on your experian file so if you do get denied for that wex card it could be due to that um but just keep that in mind <coughs> now the wex fleet card that i like let's see i like the fleet um this one and the reason why I like this one is because you can also book travel with this WEX card. So it's a two for one, right? If you get approved for the WEX fleet card, you can also book hotel travel with it as well. So it's on live stream right now and you're looking for another gas card, check out WEX. Now, just keep in mind, though, one thing that WEX is doing now, they are harping down more on wanting that $500 deposit. So if you get approved, all to the good. If you don't get approved and they ask for the deposit, I would say give the deposit. And again, this reports to all three business bureaus and you can use it for travel. So WEX is another good tier one gas card. Um, pretty easy to get. Well, I take that back. Not as easy as it was. All right. But again, you know, we, we just on gas cars right now. We ain't even got to the trade line. So after the West card, Valero is another tier one that you can get. It's backed by Wex as well. Valero is more like Midwest, up north. We got one. I think we got one here in Charlotte. I think we got a Valero here in Charlotte. The City Exxon Mobile. Now, why do we like the City Exxon Mobile? Well, it's backed by City. Now, it reports to Dun & Bradstreet, okay? Remember, you may want to have a Paydex score for this one, though. So, again, two NAV accounts, two gas cards, 80 Paydex strategy. Now, check this out. Sam's Club store card. Remember, Sam sells gas, too, family. It's not just going in there and trying to get, you know, stuff for the vending machine or whatever. Sam's is a gas card. It's more tier two, but it is a gas card that you can use at the pump. And if you get the MasterCard, you can use it outside the pump. But yeah, so just keep that in mind, family. Um, Stamps Club is another gas card you can get pretty easily. Um, and yeah. Now, Luke Oil, that's another one that's backed by Wex. Um, it's a tier one gas card. Not uh, a whole lot of people have it. Um, you can use it also for fuel maintenance so check it out um the chevron chevron is a little tougher to get you may get denied for it um but check it out i mean don't don't take my word for it not don't it's, what i'm saying is not gospel but that's 10 gas cars right there so just to recap the bp mastercard the fuel man mastercard arco mastercard if you're on the west coast so if you're on the east coast down south bp if you're on the west coast Arco, then the Fuel Man, and then the Wex Fleet Card. That's three easy ones right there you could get. Three, you know, pretty standard gas card. Then you got Valero gas card. Okay, and remember, these all report to all three business bureaus. Now, the city Exxon Mobil is going to report to um, Dun & Bradstreet and business experience i think i think that my city exxon mobile reports to business experience and done in i know it reported to done in bradstreet all right sam's club love sam's synchrony back you can use that at the pump so remember and this reports to business done in bradstreet and business experience all right so just keep that in mind luke oil right chevron texaco and then last but not least, the Conoco Phillips, another synchrony gas card. So um, that's a pretty solid um, lineup. That's a pretty solid lineup, man. So what I'm going to do, man, I got my guy Chowder, man. We're going to chop it up with my guy, man. We're going we're gonna to get into it. We're going to find out what's going on. We're going to get into this uh, incredible situation, man. So How you doing? How you doing, Carolina? My brother. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. What's going How on? How you man? doing? Yeah, so I just um random, I ain't gonna lie, this is the first time I heard about your channel today. 
another Word. business partner, another business partner that I work with was uh, watching it live. And he was telling me like, hey, man, it's this guy saying that E-Credible's not been reporting and all that. And I was like, oh, let me get Word. on this. Let me see what's his, uh, you know, what's been going on. So I've been I've been rocking with E-Credible for a minute okay. now and I haven't had any problems with them. Um, okay. I do. So I kind of my company does a lot of things, but I plan to do um, a lot of giving back in my community low income right, housing. Right, right. So Ecredible is a really good resource. So I actually okay. not too long ago, maybe about less than a week ago, I actually had the chance to talk to um, the owner, the founder, Mr. Kutch Moore, very okay. nice gentleman, very surprising. And what I think mm. may be happening to you is right now, there was another YouTuber. I don't know if it was credit plug or somebody else, but credit basically <laughs> he, he had a, he had a lot of people, you know, he does his work. He had a mm -hmm. lot of people hit, Credible and it's a really small team. Now, Kutch oh, Moore, he's, he's kind of a he's kind of an older fellow. If I'm right, he told me he's about he's in his 60s or 70s. And um, I was trying to, you know, get my affiliate marketing thing. And he he specifically told me right now they don't have that set up because they're a really small company. They're really revamping it. And he likes to make sure that he every account is perfect. So gotcha. what I think maybe happening is he may be at an overload right now or something like that. And that's A to B. May not, that no, that's not A to B. This is E credible. I can't speak on A to B. We're yeah, talking see, about E credible. I was right gonna now. say uh, not to cut you off with E credible. I never said that they didn't. I just never saw where Speak, anybody report where right. Yeah. Okay. So and I, I have some. If you if you want to connect later, I'll, I'll be happy to share screenshots okay. or even connect yeah, you yeah, with yeah. Mr. Touch yeah, more yeah. as well because yeah, I, I know yeah, it's it's kind of hard to get it's hard to get in contact with them as well and everything. I know the mm. customer service is kind of slow and everything like that. And my partner just told me that A to B is also doing, I think some revamps and changes to their reporting. Right. I think he said they made a statement today too. So I'm, I'm happy um, he, uh. he he told me that and I was coming to your channel. You know, we kind of all in the same space, the Credit Education Business Academy, that's something I do as well. So okay. happy, you know, I'm, I'm happy to share that information with you later on. We could definitely connect. Okay. I'm gonna share my people, email with you. Uh, let us know what kind of business you have and what, like, up to this point, what's been your business journey? Like, what, what have you, uh, have you built out tier one? Are you in tier one? What's kind so of- So I'm about to, so I'll be, I'll share some, I, I don't know if this will be gems, but I'll share my personal experience. So uh, earlier this year, I kind of, I kind of started off with a credit repair company and okay. I was doing a partnership with a company you probably heard of called Credit Suite. And a lot of people know about yeah, credit their credit builder program and how they do the tier one and tier two. I was going mm. through that. And when I first started, when I did my future filing day for my comp my third party company, they kind of messed mm. me up. They made me, even though I did everything in May, they had it to where I got future filed in September. So that messed a lot of things up. And, you know, a lot of rules say that you can't get these net 30s or trade lines if you don't have secretary of state, good standing or any of those things. When I say I got over 10 net 30 vendors, maybe 15 without being registered with state or having my secretary of good standing, man, I'm not playing with you. Literally, man. I got I got a lot of things we're talking about gas cards. Um, Apple business accounts, the even the mm -hmm. you know the regular, the U line, the all those right. things, um, I got them with no problem. So when I kind of figured that out, it was kind of like a just test and try, you know, get information mm -hmm. all around. But that was kind of my biggest breakthrough and struggle because if I would have waited and not tried to build any type of business credit, I would have been either kind of further down along the line, you know. And I even yeah. kind of called Credit Suite and I let them know, like, hey, you know is this right? Because I'm looking at the fine print here and all these other things and I'm getting passed. And they're like, Yo, we, we've never heard of that. We've never. And I'm like, mm. I got it. I got it bookmarked right here. So that was, that was mm. my biggest thing. And if I could tell you oh. just to name some of those off of all mm. anything that reports. So I started with NAV, mm -hmm. um, E-Credible, oh, Credit Street, A to B, Fuel Man, Uline, Quill, Granger, mm. Office Depot, Suma Office Supplies, Strategic Network Smart. Solutions, Ohana, Crown Office. And then I kind of have a, uh, some other few ones that kind of report differently that I don't have in that section. But that was uh -huh. like my main 10 right there. That right. was a kind of automatic. That was like the bread and butter. Bread and butter right there. Definitely. Um, what, yeah, I do with my business, uh, what I do with my business, 
Um, I do kind of credit repair. I change it up. I really teach credit okay. education and financial uh, literacy. So I do kind of what you do. I teach right. people, you know, letting them know that they're not just three credit bureaus on the personal side. Mm -hmm. You got LexisNexis, TechStream, yeah. um, also partner with a lot of fintech companies. So I have partnerships with Self, um, working on something with eCredible. Um, I have, I do rental reporting. So I have five, over five okay. partners with rental reporting. Um, I also partner with a company that does uh, help you build credit with subscriptions. So if you do Hulu, Amazon, mm -hmm. Netflix, uh, things like that, that can you help you build that. credit as well. Yes, yes, that could help you build yeah. credit. Um, so yeah, I, I work and find a lot of companies like that to teach people that, you okay. know, on the personal side as well, you can do certain things that you already are using to add on mm -hmm. your credit report to build it so you can start applying for those credit cards and things like that. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, we definitely got to tap in with you then. So um, oh. <laughs> definitely, man, um, don't forget when you, when we uh, hop off the live, man, definitely mm -hmm. put your, your, your website or how we can get in contact with you. How could I, should I, I, should, I, should, I, okay. should I leave my, my type, my email in this private chat or in the comments or how should I do that? Yeah, put I'll it in the that. private chat and I'll okay. post it. Um, I'll post I got, it a, lot and a, lot um, I got a lot of fundraisers and a lot of things that I'm, I got a lot of fundraisers and things that I'm planning that I would love to share with yeah, the community. Yeah, yeah. So you know, definitely send me your IG like or all your social medias and what we'll do is I'll, um, I'll put it, I'll, I'll put a comment up, man. So we'll leave this up on the replay, man. So everybody can connect with you, bro. Definitely okay. Like that's per I, hey, up, man. And I, pre yeah, I appreciate absolutely. that. Thank you so much. This is a blessing yeah, in disguise absolutely. right here all the time. This networking absolutely, is amazing. Man. I appreciate you jumping on the live, man, and giving us some game. So just no to problem. be clear, the E-Credible trade line does report. It it's, does report. It's and it's one of the most, it's, 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 if anybody out here is watching this video, please go sign up for that now it is a very yeah. powerful tool on the business right. and personal side very very and i'll have other videos later on kind okay. of going into what you can do because like i said I've, I've talked to the owner and with some things that he's planning so i kind of got a little bit of head sight not to brag but i would mm. love to share that information nonetheless yeah. now definitely man i think um let's 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 try to connect man off uh, uh off the live and uh let's try to do this again man because i definitely definitely, wanna, definitely. Uh, have another conversation about you know uh using the trade lines and making sure we're building out our personal credit so we can definitely tap in again bro all right i appreciate that my man i'm gonna leave all the right. studio i'm, I'm staying this live until you over my man i'm tuning in all right man appreciate you bro no, no problem all right man there you have it family the credible is solid so i mean and again like like i said i'm not a guru right so if i'm wrong i say i'm wrong but i a to b Y'all got to, we got to see, we got to see A to B. We got to see. Uh, but again, like I said, my man said incredible is solid. So if you're watching this, definitely tap in with incredible, uh, sound like they got some stuff going on on the personal side where you can, you know, tap in, uh, and get your personal credit structure with them. And then business credit, they're, they're legit. Now, um, I know Ecredible was advertised to be reported to business Equifax. So that's why I what piqued my interest originally with Ecredible was that they were part of the business Equifax, you know, because you got to think a lot. Not a lot of vendors report to business Equifax. So, yeah. Shout out to my man Chowder, man. We definitely going to tap in with bro again, man. So I appreciate him coming on the live and giving us that game. Um, let's see what's going on in the chat, man. Does Amex do a hard pull if you have them as an authorized user trade line? Yes, Fave, uh, Press. They will pull your credit if you don't have a personal credit account with Amex. Now, one backdoor hack that you can do with Amex is if you get a uh, high-yield savings account with Amex and put maybe like 500 to to 1000 bucks in there and keep it there for 90 days, they'll start throwing you credit card offers. So that's kind of a little backdoor strategy to get in with Amex. But yes, they will pull your uh Experian uh profile when you do apply, even if you are an AU. You have to so if you're an AU on an MX card and you apply for a primary MX, your own MX with your social, they will pull your credit. But great question. Uh they building one in ATL, Arco. Okay, well, there you go. So Florida and Georgia. Arco is in the building uh platinum universal fleet card like that like that my man Ty said what is the process on how your highest personal credit limit gets you 3x in business credit 
or is there a specific bank? There's no specific bank, bro. Um, but one thing I will say, usually what happens when your personal credit limits are high, what tends to happen is uh, banks will do what they call like kind lending. So let's say your highest limit on your personal is 10 grand. Usually they'll give you maybe a fifteen, twenty thousand dollar business credit card. Because remember, banks lend businesses two to three times more than personal. Because you can have a hundred fifty thousand on your personal and make let's just say your income was around seventy-five thousand. At some point, they're gonna say, Hey, well, you already have a hundred and fifty thousand in available personal credit, right? Now, some could argue that if you um let's just say uh your income was half a million then maybe you could justify having 150,000 on the personal side but it does come to a point where you may have too much available credit uh, a lot of banks are starting to say that now like wait a minute you got 130,000 in available credit but you're only using 10,000 so it just kind of works out better when you go to business funding route, if that makes sense, Tal. Because on the business funding side, there's no limits, right? You can get four Chase cards for every. If you have four businesses, you can get four Chase cards, four BOA cards, four PNC cards. There's no limit to it, right? So that's the, that's the difference between personal and business, Tal. Uh, is BP Mastercard based on personal credit? No, Miss Loving, it is not. It is a no PG business credit, uh, business gas card. But great question, Ms. Levin. ATL in the building. Did not get that gas card. I don't know what that means, Michael. Uh, yeah, you welcome appliance repair. Applying with the business EIN or do they require SSN too? I believe, William, if you ask about the gas cards we just covered, then no, you don't need your SSN, you just, just the EIN. Now, they will ask for the SSN for verification purposes. So they will verify that you are who you say you are, but not they won't pull your personal credit. Uh, my guy said we all is. Yeah, now Chowder. Shout out to Chowder, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to my guy Chowder, man. We're going to definitely tap in with bro, man. He's doing some big things in his area. He's helping out his local community. He's giving back. He's teaching the community about credit. So shout out to him, man. We definitely going to have bro back on the channel again. We're going to have a, a whole live stream. We're going to bring him on. Find out what he got going on with teaching people about personal credit, helping you structure your personal credit. I'm always a sponge when it comes to personal credit. No matter how many live streams I do, no matter how many seminars I go to, no matter how many times I study personal credit or business credit or credit in general, I'm still a, a student of the game. You know, I, I, I get up here and I learn, you know, from Santana. Saying every week Santana up here getting approval. So I'm like, damn, I got to. I got to figure out what the sauce is, why Santana getting these approvals. But I probably, if I could guess, and I'm not speaking for Santana, it's probably because he executing on what we giving out every week. So if you're watching this on the live, on the replay, execute, family. Execute. That's all we ask, you know. What's good, JB? Uh, I was going to work with Credit Suite. Um, let's talk, JB. Let's, let's, let's conversate um let's 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 tap in bro i know we had our, our strategy call this week so let's let's tap in before you make that credit suite move so credit suite is no good uh what about amazon prime amazon net 55 they have the net 55 amazon is a no pg tier two account uh i thought they can get you five times your max limit on your personal credit for business credit yes it can go up to five jb so yeah, you can get five times a higher uh, on the on the business side. Um, so yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Um, let's see. To be honest, I went backwards. I used my personal credit to get a business MX, and I then went and got net thirties with companies that I do business with anyway. Nah, I wouldn't say that's backwards, young timer. I don't. That's not backwards. You just, you just. Um, you built the personal up and then got a business Amex, but it's all funding at the end of the day. It's all business credit. I don't think that's backwards. Um, you can start with personal and then move to business, or you can do business and move to per. I mean, nah, I wouldn't say that's backwards. Uh, Joyce, how do you sign up? Is that for Credit Suite or for the uh, for the gas cards? Just curious. I signed up for Eat Credible. Okay. 
Right on, Rashonda. Rashonda, let us know uh, if 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 eat credible salad, man. Maybe we'll we'll I'll do a YouTube. Uh, talking head video on it. Um, say, bro, I have an 80 payment score. Can I apply for any gas? Yeah, absolutely. Big sip. Yeah, 80 paid X. Yeah, if you got an 80 paid X, gas cars should be well within should be able to get gas cars. No problem. Um, yeah, man, we definitely gonna connect, Chowder. Man, I'm gonna definitely have you back on the, on the platform, bro. I, I, I like your, I like your, your platform, what you got going on, man. You in the community, man. You, you, rock with you brother so we definitely gonna make sure we we, we we promote your platform uh what bureaus of fuel man fnbo is gonna report to dmb deandre so uh it'll report to dmb um and then fuel man reports to all three so fuel man reports to all three business bureaus now keep in mind there's other business bureaus so you got asania you got credit safe um I'm forgetting them. I'm forgetting them, y'all. I'm sorry. Uh, but let's see. Let's go through these real quick, man. We got a couple more people hopping on the live. My fuel man fleet is taking forever to report. It usually is going to take two billing cycles. So fuel man is, a, I believe fuel man is a net 14. Don't quote me, Jeju. I could be wrong. But if it's a net 14, usually on your second invoice, it'll report. Uh, Mr. Edwards said, I got trade lines, but BP and fuel man turn me away. Mm, it may be that we don't have the paydex yet, or we got to look at the profile. It could be something on the profile. That that could be the case, Edward. Um, William said, I got high personal credit limit because a guru said I could convert it to business credit. Oh, man. It is what it is. These gurus. Um, I reached out to you a few weeks ago to tap in on a strategy call, go over a few things. All right, Anthony, let's set it up, man. Definitely um, text the number below 980-825-4360. And uh, let's get let's let's make sure we set that up, Anthony, uh, if we haven't yet. Uh, somebody said I invested 3800 in Credit Street and lost bad. Ooh, something I can do for myself. They are no help. Oh wow! Woo! Shots fired! All right, all right. With that said, man, we're gonna bring the homie Jay into the stream. They out here throwing shots. Woo! Yes. Oh man! Whoa! Somebody said, "Hey, I'm gonna leave that alone, man." What's that going on? Never, man? That's a lot. That's a lot of money. Thirty-eight hundred. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I, I feel a hey, big sip, man. That's not, that's a lot to part with, man. Not to get nothing, man. Yikes! Hopefully that's hopefully Credit Suite fixed that, man. I I, I don't want to. I ain't getting in it, but I don't know what was going on, Jay. How you doing? What's what's the, what's the good, word on the streets, good. man? What, so <laughs> I got um, what was it the ntb card i did get that one um okay. i'm waiting to hear back about the advanced okay i heard advanced was backed up that may be why. they seem to be because i well i applied yeah. friday and the guy told me to take two to three days and he was like well let me call and check on it so i'm gonna give them to me to this time next week and then reach back out um, yeah yeah that should be so you got ntb Mm -hmm. I know the last, or well, not last week, but the week before, I know you got, uh, it was one of the gas cars, right? No, I only have Shell. I got told no for all the gas cars. Yeah. Yeah, I got okay. Shell, got but Shell, I got Shell though, right? through a trick. So. Oh, yeah. The, uh, when you back out of the application. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got, yeah, that's, that's the I got the Shell. But I love <laughs> my Shell card. I love okay. my Shell card. I wish I had a got uh, the BP card, but I didn't. Now, with the BP card, so did they send you a letter saying what the reason was? They wanted or? me to PG. Everybody else wanted me to either PG, and then we got to the point where they started wanting me to, um, like, verify my information, like, send them a bank statement or something. So that's why I realized, okay, I think maybe we going over the addresses, which I do have one more question about before I make pull a trigger mm. either way. Go ahead, but, shoot. um that's what we started getting. And it was like, well, send us your bank statements to prove your right. address is your address. 
And I was like, what? But my address was my P.O. box. So I couldn't, mm. you know, I couldn't prove. I was like, wait a minute, because on my bank statements, it's my actual home address, which is what right. I'm using for my business. Um, now, your so business like, oh, okay, with Navy Federal it. or... I have, I cannot get into Navy Federal because I'm not in the military and I you know so I don't have that yet. Hold uh, on. All right, get with get with me. Uh, get with me. Well, we'll connect after this lot, but I, I we'll, we'll we'll get you straight. We'll get okay. you in there. We'll get you in Navy. But um, so BP was saying that they wanted a bank statement from your mm -hmm. business to match the address you put on application. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what I went, what I did was I went back, like you said, I went through my NAS profile my Dunn's profile to make sure they all read the same. And I changed mm -hmm. everything to read to how the Secretary of State read, which was my home. I went back to Secretary of State and I realized that it just said my home address without my apartment number. So I was like, oh, well, that's good then. So I said, I'll just change everything to that. Gotcha. But um, I don't know if I just didn't give it enough time to process and change. I saw the change, but maybe when people went to go check, it hadn't updated yet. Because then yeah. that's when I started getting that mixed send me this document, send me that document thing. Um, mm. So, yeah, and then a lot of them are now saying not even 30 days wait to apply. I think it was 90 days when we were going through the synchrony, the Office Depot, right when I went through the, what was it? Who else is in synchrony? Office Depot. Um, uh, synchrony would be like uh, Sam's, Lowe's. Um, well, what's the one? Who's Office Depot? That's City. So okay, so we did. I did Office Depot, Staples, J.C. Penney, and all of them said no. And they all said it for the same reason. Now, did you check? Because one thing that you got to look at on your profile too is your uh, SIC, your NAICS. So I was going to ask you about that. My Naxis code is they one one person said one company said it was high risk. And so when I went to look at it, it's under retail. And basically, any retail is high risk. And I'm not necessarily mm. retail. So I had to go back and, like, I watched some other videos on how to figure out what your next code also could be. Because they're like, well, don't lie. But if you do more than one thing, and the other thing is not necessarily high risk, pick that one. So gotcha. I went back through and found one that matched truly what I do. Also, gotcha. so I picked that one, but I'm like, do I have to go back? How do I change that? Because I don't even remember giving them an access code. Yeah, what's going to happen, and that's a good point. So for everybody watching, what tend to happen is, and remember I said in week one, when you name your business something, like say if you name it our trucking, mm -hmm. what the bank or the, the vendor is going to do is they're going to try to make their best guess on what industry you're in. So that's why I always say when you name your company, try to keep it, you know, industry neutral because um, when you name it a certain thing and they're going to just automatically, oh, we're going to plug you right in the trucking or auto repair or whatever, they're going to make their best guess. Um, so it's always good to know uh, what NAICS code and SIC code you want to use as low risk. Now, e-commerce is when now, if you're selling online or eBay or something mm -hmm. like that, that's mm -hmm. more low risk. Uh, and it's still technically retail because you're still selling online. Right. Um, so I would look at e-commerce. I, I forgot the, I used to know the next The one I found that was more for me because my clothes for my clothing line are designed and made. So it was like something like piecework or something like that. So I'm not buying okay. from vendors. I'm actually having it made. So I'm like, so that's more about what what I would be. It would be more the gotcha. piecework thing, but even still the e-commerce one would be good. Um, I think yeah. it was like four, two, three, two. It's only four digits. But I was like, how do I change that? You have to actually um so on Dun and Bradstreet, you can do it in your DMB uh dashboard. I don't so even know, you, I can't even figure out how to get into that. Cause I can't like you gotta see, I'm writing. What you gotta do is go to DMB Board, you have to set it up initially so they'll send you an email with like a confirmation and a password okay so if you go to uh dmb.dashboard or dashboard.dmb.com um, put in i think y'all put in your email or okay i think you gotta put in your duns number Okay, I forgot I exactly that. what you got to do, but you can set up your Dun and Bradstreet dashboard. It's totally free. You don't have to pay for it. And then but you I can need go to call them and ask them for their email. 
No, whatever email you once you set it once because it's gonna say uh set it up, it'll be mm-hmm. a, a thing to say if you don't have a den- dashboard profile to set it up. So you set it up, give them the Dunn's number, give them your email, and then they'll email you like a link to confirm it and everything and give you like a login page to set up the password and everything. Okay. So you can change it there, and then with Experian, what you have to do is print off the um the nav report and then circle what you want to change and email them to the dispute okay so, email um, it to is that in our yeah. group is that on our facebook group the email i'll put it in there to? i'll put i'll okay. put it I'll, I'll make a google doc with the email to send the disputes but you have to what you have to do is when you send the disputes and you have to tell them what's wrong and you have to circle it on the report so that's why i said when you get your nav uh report for experience just put a circle around the SIC code and then tell them this is what you want to change it to. Okay. Or like if you, and also one thing too, when you send that dispute in, bump up the employee. So typically you want to have about 10 employees. And that's yeah, what I always say though, everything and I'm noticing they pick six. I'm yeah. like, how did y'all get to six? And I keep saying 10 on everything. I don't know. These, I mean, I don't know, man. These vendors, they're a little, they're a little funny. But I would say um, if you can try to get the 10 employees on, on your Okay, profile. I'll send them that. Because it'll help you I'll... with the tier twos. Okay. So where I'm at, you saw the post. I don't know if you remember. I know you have a lot going on helping everybody. But mm. the net, the newest post, when I so I took your advice from our last mm. meet. And you were like, y'all might want to go ahead and join NAV now because today is like the 29th or something. And they're reporting mm. the first. So I yeah. listened to you. Hold on a second, baby. I listened to you and I joined it and it reported. Right. But then, for some reason, the new one I created reported. All those numbers look great, but then the old one still looks like it looks. I'm like, so which one is accurate? Yeah. Probably the newer one. Okay. Whichever one, yeah, whichever one you just got is probably going to be the most accurate. Okay, because when I called them, I was like, I didn't know really how to speak because I didn't know if they knew about the hack or they're like, well, yeah, we know. You know, do the two different accounts, get the two different grade scores. Um, mm-hmm. I didn't know if they knew that or not. So I was like trying to watch my words when I, you know, told them what I needed. <laughs> but because um, then at one point the guy was like, well, you know, when you have two, um, if you have a nav account, only reports once. So I was like, yeah, I know. And I just like, let me have a phone with you for you messing my account or something <laughs> and do something crazy. So I yeah, didn't understand how they, to get both they, of them um, the same. Yeah. Yeah. So it's more than likely the new one is the most accurate. Um, now one thing to keep in mind too with Nav, you can refresh your profile every two weeks. You can just call them, say, Hey, I like to refresh my scores because I usually do that with my loan builder plan because that SPSS mm-hmm. score. Now, you got to remember the loan builder plan gives you the SPSS score, okay? And so that when you want to kind of keep tabs on that's one that has everything. the better scores. Uh, well, then, yeah, so. I would say for the one um, that has the lower scores, mm-hmm. every two weeks you can call and get that, get a refresh. Okay. You have to call them though. Okay. And just say, hey, can you refresh my scores? It's it's really a courtesy, but they do it. They ain't gonna trip. Okay. Um, and then you should see in like a, a five ten minutes, it'll it'll pop on there. Okay. So mm-hmm. other question was, so my goal is basically. A lot of businesses I have, I'm like, I don't want to put my money into them. They're great ideas. Mm. We're going to turn them into great businesses. How do I mm. keep my funding available for them? So that's why I'm building mm. business funding to cover that kind of stuff. So one of the right. businesses, we need, a, we need a business vehicle. Okay. I'm getting so many mixed videos, okay. reviews, ideas. They're like, no, you can go for a vehicle in tier two. And I'm like, when I look at my yeah. reports, I'm confused because yeah, baby. Um, I'm confused because my reports are like credit limit one hundred and ninety dollars. I'm like, wait a minute, what is going on? I don't see Sumo reporting on my stuff. They're talking about two thousand dollars. Nothing on my thing says two thousand dollars anywhere. Yeah. So what happens with business credit? And I actually, uh, I think I put that in the group today. What? Uh, yeah, because DeAndre had asked about it. He was saying that his utilization went up. So what happens with business credit is different from personal credit. So just think about on a personal side, let's say you have a $10,000 credit card limit. Mm-hmm. 
Exactly. And you use a thousand that's report to the personal credit bureaus. You use 10%. Whereas with business credit, you only get credit for what you use. So let's take that same SUMA $2,000 trade line. If you only use 400 of that, then you only get credit for the 400, not the 2,000. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So then so, at that rate, my credit will never probably be anywhere near what it needs to be to purchase a car because I'm sure you have to spend a good bit to get a car. Come on, bro. Now, what you could do is once you start adding multiple trade lines, so once you get four or five, let's say you spend 200 per five, that's 2,000. So over time, it'll get to that point. But it just, when you got like that one or two trade lines, the NAV, because NAV doesn't report a, a balance. It just reports that you have an account with NAV. You know what I mean? Um, So the gas cards, they will report um the high balances or i mean whatever you use you so then maybe my report. shell has reported because i don't see the highest limit that literally is on my card is on my accounts is like one something and it says 90 percent utilization and then it says um and i'm like i pay everything off the zero so i'm like i don't know how that's accurate but then it just well, says a whole bunch of zeros everywhere what happens a lot of times too when you you when you have a trade line that reports with a balance, mm-hmm. you gotta remember um, if you pay, whenever you place an order, like say if you place an order with Quill, right? They're gonna bill you, and then you gotta pay in thirty days. Mm-hmm. But typically, you want to pay seven to ten days early. Mm-hmm. Um, now, one thing that you know uh, some people suggest you do as far as paying. Uh, your trade lines is order between the 18th and the 24th of each month mm-hmm. and then pay between the fifth eighth of the following month. So okay. today is the sixth. Then you would go ahead and make your payment if you order on the 18th, between the 18th and the 24th of uh September. Now, what is the theory behind that? Because I've heard you say it before, and I'm like, I didn't understand why. We yeah, because basically what you're basically showing them is that you used it in September, <laughs> and then you paid it off in, in uh, October. So basically, you allowed them to bill you, boy. Because okay. what can happen is, let's say you order from Uline Monday. Let's say you mm-hmm. order from Monday, and then you paid two yesterday. Mm-hmm. That's really considered a cash sale. Cause you paid basically the next day you ordered on Monday, they invoiced you on Monday and then you paid on Tuesday. That's cash sale. Now, um, the one thing with DMB, um, they report says for bu- the nav accounts, the nav accounts will always show us like a, a, a cash sale. It will never show us like a, 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 a revolving trade line. So, but what's the um, amount of like a hat. What should it be showing me? What's the amount that the NAV should be showing me? The one something that you pay quarterly? Yeah, so it'll show like 150, 156. Or but something I think like that. NAV is the only one that's reporting an amount. Everybody else, it's so like, let me look it up real quick because I had it. DMB, I think, is reporting like five trade lines, but everything says zero except for one, like 150. And then um, mm. Equifax is the hardest. <laughs> Equifax is showing one. And experience, I think, is showing too. But though yeah, my scores see, are the scores I sent you, and I'm just like, okay. Yeah, because see, the one thing with Equifax, when you pull it from NAV, it's not going to be the total report. So, like, you won't see those BP MasterCards and those fuel mans. What you have to do is, uh, and I have a guy over there at Equifax, um, you have to actually um, get the raw data file for Equifax. And you'll yeah. see, because, like, my Bank of America... Um, where is it the bank of america business credit card it reports the business equifax Mm -hmm. but i didn't know that until i got the actual report from equifax because remember nav is a a, a middleman okay so it's not the real deal raw so we need to go get the reports for that we need to do like the monthly dmb report and a monthly Experian report equifax is um not as important either Mm -hmm. Um, not a lot of uh vendors really pull Equifax for approvals now. Okay, vehicles it is because you got what's called the pay net, and that's mm-hmm. based off your business Equifax profile. So, so, how do we check that? It's 
pretty it's basically the same thing. Um, mm-hmm. the only way you can get the pay net score though is when you get denied for I got denied, so that's how I got my <laughs> uh yeah. Okay. So um so how do we know yeah. when we are ready to like when we're at the level four tier two? Cause I'm like, I have, I've been working on it since only since July. Um, mm-hmm. I think my first score is generated somewhere around late August. Okay. Okay. First of September. Yeah, I so think got, that's when the first score is quick. Um, the one thing to keep in mind with those WEX cards, sometimes they report quarterly. So that should be your next one that pop on with a high limit. Um, I didn't get a WEX one. They told me the only thing I was shocked. Nah, nah, Shell, Shell is backed by Wex. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Shell. Now the Wex fleet card is a little harder to get. That's why I was saying earlier that that okay. Wex fleet card is 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 tough. But um, Fuel Man, you should. I don't know. Fuel Man hating on you. I mean, yeah. everybody yeah. I know that 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 got Fuel Man got it. Mm. Yeah, I'm um, seeing a lot, like even the Apple card, uh, like the Amazon that 30 day. I was like, oh, well, just t- do your business email address in the Amazon business account will pop up because they don't offer you the net 30 anymore. You when you sign up, they'll just send you an email if you get approved. I have signed up if with four different email addresses and never get it like, oh hey, here's your Amazon net 30. So then when I applied for the mm-hmm. net 55, it said I didn't have enough trade lines and I was high risk because of my industry. And it was, the I think it's something. Program. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. The so next code was- of SRC uh, for Synchrony, they real. They put it now. One thing to keep in mind too: with Synchrony, they pull Lexus Nexus business, and they want to see that your number is listed on the four one one. So that's a. You know, I, just I tried your thing for that, and I cannot get on four one one. I did the where you said you go on the website and you enter information. Somebody will call you. No. Yeah, four one one dot info. Or yes. was it list yourself. No, I did list yourself. If yeah, they they, they I, I tell people to do 411.info because 411. when you list info. With, yeah, when you do it with 411.info, it just take a little take about a week, but they'll 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 get they'll get to you. Let me put um, that in there. Yeah, list yourself for what and before it was all gravy back in 2018, 2019. Uh-huh. They, you know, I guess they just short uh, I mean, I a lot of these bureaus and these People they short staff like crazy, you know. Um, so yeah, okay. because even with this with this company I'm doing now, the one that I'm building out now, um, list yourself. Yeah, I still ain't heard from them, and I did that back in like August myself. Oh wow! Yeah, so, so yeah, that's, that's crazy. One that info is the route to take. So um, before now, we need to do anything tier two, we need to be on four one one. Yeah. So go and when when you go back to week. Uh, week three, those business listings that's when they come into play because the synchronies, the cities, um, who else? Who's some tier? Um, Capital One, the Menard. Well, they don't have Menards in Georgia, but uh, like Midwest, they got this. It's like Lowe's, but it's called Menards, but mm-hmm. it's backed by Capital One. So they get. It's, it's basically like the lows for pro, but for Menards, but it's backed okay. by Capital One and it reports to all three business bureaus. Okay. Uh, but they they dig a little deeper at tier two. So um I would so say we- we'll, what we'll do, um, uh, we'll connect offline. Uh, okay. I got a Wex, I got a connect over at Wex that could probably get you set up with that Wex fleet card. Okay. Um, and then that'll give you two gas cards that report to all three bureaus. You got the two nav accounts. We probably need to get Uline if you don't have that one. I yet. got Uline. Okay, so got Uline, we probably Uline, Quill, Suma, Shell, Nat, both okay. the navs, Ohana, yeah. Sunbelt, and um, okay, yeah, yeah. And, now, um, advance when you get a yeah when you get approved for advance, that will report to Experian also. Okay. So okay. that should probably get you uh once once all of those hit, that should probably get you out of tier one. And we're using a hundred dollars per order, right? Like seven, like yeah, when yeah. I did seventy five to hundred yeah. is what I'm seeing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Seventy five okay. to hundred, somewhere in there. Now with Uline, um, remember they report the DNB and experience, so you get a two for. Yeah, that's why I went with them because I I mean it was hard. I paid so overpriced for something. 
but I was like, I need y'all <laughs> report this. I'm like, because I cannot find anything on Uline. I gave up on Granger. Um, yeah. But I couldn't find anything on Uline. Um, I think that's everything. So I'll reach out to you. You want me to email you? Yeah, just uh, e uh, email me and uh, I'll get you in contact with my guy over there at Wex. We'll try to get, get the uh, other gas car set up for you. Okay. It may not be the Wex fleet. It may be like, uh, what's another gas station in, in, in Macon? Other than sure. You know, everything here is so mom and pop. Everything here is mom and pop a lot. Because I live mm. in, in middle Georgia and I live near Macon. Gotcha. Um, gotcha. Like we got one QT and that's like 25, 30 minutes from me. Like right around me. It's all mom and pops. Yeah, like there's the see, I wanted the one for um Walmart because there's a there's Walmart gas stations near me. Same but club. yeah, everything else is mom and pop. Yeah, I would say um once we get advanced approval, NTB, I'll give you another DMB tray line. Um Sunbelt, that's another mm -hmm. experience. We already got U line. Uh we got the two nav accounts, so that's so. Yeah, um, some other. I've been here. I've been really not trying to do shirtsy or the um, t shirt club because I'm just going. How much you have to spend with them? Um, busy t shirt club is good. They report um, all three busy bureaus, but I but mean, do you have to spend like two hundred dollars to to get them to report? No, nah, you just gotta you gotta put up half of whatever your order is. Because what I was gonna do is uh. I'm 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 getting my um uh, you know my logo for my brand and everything. Mm -hmm. So I was just gonna order like a bulk order of like blank shirts from them. But I mean, you don't have to order from Busy T Shirt Club. But I mean, they they are good though. They yeah. are another trade line. That's the only one I can see left on the list that I was you know yeah. not approved for that I could go after was Business T Shirt Club. Okay. So that's the only one I could think else to add to my profile. Um, I'm always looking for more. And trying to, you know, trying to see, I, I am iffy about, people say Credit Strong for personal has been really good. And Credit okay. Strong just opened up their business line. But they yeah, offer it like the the loan look. And I'm just like, I haven't really tried it. So, like, even the young man earlier who said, you know, E-Credible is good. I'm glad he came over and said that because that was one of my list. But then I did think about what you said. Like, you don't want to just start throwing money at these companies. And there's right. no, you know. There's no social proof that they're actually doing what they're going to say they're doing. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a thin line, and you know that's why I had to kind of switch up the top of the night because I'm in these Facebook groups, people telling me, "Oh, this do that," and Amex mm -hmm. is no PG, and I'm like, "Wait a minute, man, who the hell is telling y'all this stuff?" Now it's, it's a couple of groups out there like that are really sad <laughs> because they're just basically telling people to go for all kinds of stuff, and there's no, there's yeah. no. Like how you said, there's a strategy to the plan that you're trying there's to strategy. teach. There's no strategy. They're just like, just do this and now do this. And it's like, what is your point? Like, what are you <laughs> trying to do? And they're just applying for everything and yeah. then just trying to figure out how to get credit. I'm like, well, that's what it looks, you know, it looks weird. It, it just looks like you're trying to scam people because you don't even have a reason for going after what you're going after. So, yeah. And then, um, you know, there's some other experienced trade lines that's a little harder to get now, like uh, uh, Supply Works. That yeah. used to be an easy one, man. Mm -hmm. Supply Works was so, and it report to Experian too. It yeah. was so easy. Um, yeah, because that was one of the early ones I went for, and they told me now. Because you probably, um, with them now, is they want to see that you've been on Secretary of State for at least 12 months. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now you make so a circle like back the other to them. funding. How? What level do you start getting? Like the real credit cards, like without, like Probably around tier two. So you could, once you got about five to seven on each bureau, you could start getting like the Sam's Clubs, the Amazons. But then one thing, you know, also too, uh, making sure that you got all the data points on the profile. So the SIC need to be tight. Mm -hmm. Your uh, business address need to be tight. Uh, the 411 need to be tight. So that's why I said like everything we've been building up to to this point, you know, kind of going in order. That's why I kind of did it step one, step two every week, mm -hmm. because a lot of people skip step two. That bank compliance, they just breeze right past that. They just right. get an LLC mm -hmm. and go straight to U-line. It's like, right. nah, bro. Nah. Yeah, I wish somebody had to tell me that because that's sure what I did. 
I yeah. did not know to do all this stuff first. Like some of it I did know, like I knew to get my EIN. Mm-hmm. Um, I did not realize how important a website is because the more credit you start getting people like, what's your website? I'm like, um, yeah. you know, okay. You might be asking about their website too. Yeah. So what when you do the um, I was gonna ask you just said about the oh, it was one of the questions I was gonna ask. Was it you. supply works? No, it was one of the other ones you just said. Advance. Mm-mm. It was about um Oh man, I forgot it. <laughs> nah, it's I all good. It. I know it's late. <laughs> yes, I but, forgot um, it. I'm gonna see if I can get my guy Wex to hook you up with uh with another trade line, another gas card. Maybe we'll just do QT, maybe or uh QT will be straight because we do go to Atlanta a lot. There's a lot of QTs there, yeah. and there's one QT oh, yeah. that I would make a trip for, you know, just well, to go ahead say, and um, use it. It, I'm gonna try to see if we can get you the Wex Fleet because you can use that Wex Fleet as shell too. If you, oh, okay, if you get good. The Wex Fleet, the Wex Fleet work at all Shell gas. I mean, all wet. So Shell, QT, 7 Eleven, um, Valero, everywhere to take Wex. Because mm-hmm. Wex backs all of those cards. So, like, if you ever go on Wex site for the for Wex Fleet, the one I had up earlier, mm-hmm. and just look down below, it shows you all the gas stations you can use that card at. Oh, well, then that'd be good. Because, yeah, you that'd be good, like, yeah. we randomly have a 76. But we don't have like a lot of 76s. You'll just have one yeah. random one or one random Chevron somewhere. Um, so yeah, that would be good. Yeah, that would be I'll, a good I'll one. tap in with them and we'll okay. Uh, we'll I'll send you a message and uh remind you. Thank you so okay. much. Okay, yeah, you're very welcome, man. Appreciate you coming on the live, man. We're gonna make it happen, man. Yeah, it's, I appreciate it's the process. It. That's all. Yeah, you gotta trust the process, man. Have but, a good uh, night. All right, you too. Take care. Night. All right, y'all. So we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it popping, man. I know we kind of ran off the rails but let's get back to it man uh, i have a startup business and i'm seeking business funding all right hannah so what you want to do is you want to text free text the word free to 980-825-4360 and you definitely want to do that this week before next next live stream i got a special gift for everybody that's booking the free strategy calls uh that runs out on this Friday. So if y'all watching this on the live stream, whether you're in the Facebook group or if you're on the YouTube channel, text the word free to 980-825-4360. I got a special gift for y'all, man. So just stay tuned. Lap, tap in with me. Book your free strategy call. Get your questions answered. It's 100% free. You don't have to pay anything. And we're going to make sure you get this funding. All right. Uh, my guy Jowder said, and to answer that question, I would not use the Credit Suite Builder. Honestly, no point. Ugh. They are very helpful, and the payments you make are reported to business credit. So that's dope. I mean, damn. I don't want to bash Ty Crandall, man. That's my guy, man. He is He's very knowledgeable, but the people have spoken. <laughs> Um, somebody said, what's the requirements for FNBO? They pull Experian. And for business, sometimes they do ask for docs, for tax returns. But other than that, uh, they just pull Experian uh, personal. Uh, my guy said, I got bankruptcies on personal credit. Would that interview with, I think you mean interfere with getting business funded? It depends on how old, if the bankruptcy is three years or older, then most banks can kind of work with you. You probably want to look at maybe bringing in some 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 significant revenue, maybe two hundred thousand or more. Um, but yeah, it shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, my rep told me six months. Yikes! Okay, one derogatory on business. Um, what bureau, Black August? Did you have a derogatory? I'm curious. Bro, uh, bro, can you give me a call? I lost your number. All right, Terry. Um, uh, yeah, I got you, Terry. Yeah, we'll definitely tap in. I got you. Uh, but I did get Wex fuel card. Hey, another approval. There we go. Uh, my guy uh, Rochelle said, "Can you add a business on an already established business credit account?" That's a good question, Rochelle. I would say because Dun and Bradstreet will let you self-report trade lines. So let's just say if you had a let's just randomly say if you had a, a Lowe's card and it didn't report, 
you can sign up for Dun and Bradstreet's credit builder program, and they will they will let you you know send them invoices for trade lines that don't report. Now, if it's a business you already have established vendors for, and you want to um, add a business to that trade line, I don't know because most vendor accounts are going to report based on the Duns number. So each business will have its own unique Duns number. So I don't know if you could take one business that has its own Duns number and report it with another business that has that Duns number. So I don't know, uh, Rochelle, but that's that's an interesting question because, I mean, that's a hack if you could. That will be a hell of a hack. <laughs> if you could get Uline reporting for all three. Like you had one business uh, and Uline was reporting for all three of those businesses. That'd be dope. Great question. Uh, uh, Big Sim said, "I want to bash Credit." <laughs> nah, man, it's all good, man. Credit Suite took me over a week for advance. I had to call them. All I got was a store credit that don't report. Now nah, it report Rev, I believe. Um, the store net thirty should report. I think. I think the net thirty reports Rev. I could be wrong though. Don't don't quote me, Rev. I'm from Northern California. I'm new to building business credit, so I'm interested to hear what you have to share. What's up, success with GG? Um, definitely let's connect. Um, tap in with me. Text not uh free. Text the word free to 980-825-4360. Text the word free to 980-825-4360. And let's set up a free strategy call, Ms. GG. Let's figure out, you know, what your funding goals are, how we can, you know, better assist you. Uh, I got a special gift for everybody who is signing up for the free strategy calls this week. So don't miss out on getting your free strategy call. So if you're watching this on the live stream, on the replay, definitely make sure you tap in. Uh, yeah, JB, that's that's a whoo. I ain't got no words, man. What is a UCC filing? So that's a good question, Big Sip. A UCC filing usually is a universal uniform commercial code filing. So let's just say, for instance, let's use the EIDL. Any if you got an EIDL loan for over twenty five thousand dollars, they basically put a lien against your business. Now, similar to a mortgage. So if you think about a mortgage, right, it's a lien against your property. It's a, a, a you, you get a deed in your name and then they record the mortgage, which is a lien against that deed. Uh, I mean, that property. It's the same scenario for. Um, the UCC filing, so more than likely you probably had a line of credit with a bank that they reported the UCC. You can get it lifted though. So they have UCC one and then they have a UCC three. The UCC one is the actual lien being filed. The UCC three is when the lien is satisfied. So hope that helps big sip. Uh, DJ, you're very welcome, man. Glad to definitely tap in with you and uh, appreciate you tapping in on the live stream. Uh, Miss Shonda, what's going on? Good evening, good evening. Um, Sloan said 125 up front. Okay, yeah, business t-shirt club. That's right. Yeah, 125 is the minimum uh amount. So Jade, if you're still on the live stream, 125 would be the minimum for business t-shirt club. I still like business t-shirt club, I think they're dope. Um, but you know, if you can't spend that money, then I wouldn't do it. Um Nav boost helps personal. Damn. I didn't know that, James. That's good to know, though. That's good to know. It's always good to boost that personal. Uh, once you line crown reports, how often do I have to keep ordering? That's a good question, SS. So what I suggest you do is once those report and then just order every quarter. So once you get your Uline trade line on your business profile, just order from it every quarter. Once a quarter, once a quarter, once a quarter. Um but that's a good question because, you know, you do want to kind of keep them active. That's why you want to do it quarterly so you don't run into any issues where, you know, your profile says last use a year ago, two years ago. That's kind of like you ain't really using your business credit. Same with Crown and all the other ones. Uh, Norman, yes, Quill does report. So uh, they report to Dun & Bradstreet at Tier 1. Uh, so good question. Good question. 
Uh, the Shell have a fleet gas car. Yes, they do, Robert. They do have a Shell uh, fleet gas car. All right, man. I know we got off topic tonight, but I want to give you guys a few more vendor accounts to add to your arsenal. All right. So we're going to wrap this thing up here shortly. Again, appreciate everybody staying on the stream with me, rocking with me. Um, but here goes some more vendor accounts I want to share with you guys. And remember, this 80 paydex strategy is two nav accounts, two gas cards. So we covered the gas cards. Uline. Uline is another tier one vendor that you can get pretty easily. Supply works used to be easy. Not easy anymore. Um, that's more tier two. Um, now, another... Um, let me close that another um, vendor account that you guys, I'm going to give you guys a few more. And we're going to wrap this thing up, man. So if you uh, are not a part of our free Facebook community, I want to encourage you to head over to our free Facebook community because this next document that I'm about to share with you guys is in the free Facebook community. So head on over to business credit builders group. And what you want to do is you want to get over there and you want to download this vendors list. Okay. And so this vendors list is going to bring up some more trade lines that you can get at tier one. And so of course my computer doesn't want to act right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring up the vendors list uh, on my Google drive. Y'all tap in with me. Let me know if y'all got any questions about anything we covered thus far tonight. Tap in with me. And uh, let's get this funded, man. Let's get these businesses funded. Let's let's make sure we're doing the right thing. Let's make sure we're filing our taxes. You know, if you're an LLC single member, you know you got to the 15. From I'm sending my paperwork in tomorrow so I can get that thing filed. Not pay no penalties. So let's do this. I'm going to share this document and we're going to get into some some more trade lines that report to the business bureaus. All right. Hopefully you guys can see my screen. Ah, that is not it. So let's do this. All right. Um, but yeah, definitely tap in with the Facebook group and uh let us know how we can help you get some funding, man. That's the name of the game. All right. So, of course, we said Uline. Granger is another, right? Um, Quill. These are all tier one. But HD Supply. HD Supply is another tier one vendor that you can get pretty easily um, with not a lot of trade lines reporting. Because remember, the goal of tier one is to get vendor credit when you don't have any. I'm going to say that again. The goal of tier one is to get vendor credit when you don't have any vendor credit yet. Because remember, to build business credit with Synchrony Bank, City, Lowe's for Pros, even now the gas cards, the WEX and the fleet, WEX fleet cards, they want to see that you have a track record and business credit established already. Um, so, yeah, so it, it's very interesting. Um, but yeah, HD supply Gimplers Gimplers is one that reports the trade line. Um, and like I said, this document is in the free Facebook group. So just head on over to Facebook business credit builders group. Don't be a lucky Lou come to the group, answer the questions. It's only three damn questions. Answer the questions. Don't come to the group trying to steal information, add value, be a part of the conversation, be a part of the community, right? I know you guys like the group hop. You like to go from this group to that group and then back to this group. And now you hopping around, you just hoarding information, but execute. The group is for execution. If you don't, if you don't want to execute, don't come to this Facebook group. If you're not going to execute, if, you just, if you're just if you just going to go in the group and try to see if you can do a search and find that one trade line that nobody's talked about or nobody's heard of so you can get on 
Instagram and <clears throat> call yourself a guru. Just just don't don't even come to this group. But if you are looking to build business credit and you are looking to be a part of a community of business owners, right? We're not just there to learn how to build business credit. I told y'all every Sunday I open up the wall for you to promote your business. Let us know who you serve, what products you sell, put your website up. We want everybody to be, you know, engaged. So I just want to put that out there for all the looky loos and all the gurus trying to lurk and see what I post or see what somebody posts in my group and then go tell every other group on Facebook. Y'all can kick rocks. But I digress. So, yeah, so Seton is another good one at tier one. Uh, Print Country, they're pretty solid. They report to DMB um as well so these are some more tier one trade lines right this one reports to dmb as well um and again like i said this document is in the free facebook group so when you go to the business credit builders uh group you know just you know request to join answer the questions and we'll be happy to you know accept the request um but what questions do y'all have man what questions right we talked about a lot tonight. You know, I had to get this off my chest, man. I don't want you guys wasting a lot of money and time in tier one. Um, tier one should be the easiest tier to build. You know, remember, two nav accounts, two gas cards, 80 paydex strategy. Um, so, yeah. What we got? What we got? Uh, wait, penalties on what? Uh, penalties on taxes. Uh, I'm not sure who the Facebook user is. Uh, is the letter is the letters to dispute in the Facebook group? Is that inquiries, Tal? If you're asking for the inquiries, I can post it there. It's not there now, but I can post it there. Uh, Shonda. So the name of the Facebook group is Business Credit Builders Group, and then in parentheses you can put in CBCA Network. And uh, definitely love to have you a part of the group. Uh, I appreciate the call the other day. Very helpful info. You're very welcome. For those of you on Facebook, uh, I cannot see your name if you don't ask, if you don't give StreamYard permission to uh, post your name, then it'll just say Facebook user. So whoever this Facebook user is, I'm glad that you got some value from the this free strategy call. Again, text the word free to 980-825 four three six zero to book your free strategy call for everybody who books a free strategy call between now and the next live stream i have a special gift for you so everybody that's booked one between before now and all the way up into next week's live stream remember week next week we're wrapping up step five how to actually find banks that are lending okay and so that's going to be the culmination of this five step series. And with that, I'm going to be making a special announcement next Wednesday on the live stream. So if you're watching this on the Facebook group, or if you're watching this uh, on the replay, go ahead and book your free strategy call. If you have not done so, so you can get your free special gift. All right. So with that being said, uh, we're going to wrap this thing up. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Somebody said, how much do you have to buy for quitter report? Usually about $80, Rashonda. Not a lot. Yeah, about $80 to $100. Now, with Quill, I would say maybe spend about $100. Uh, because the thing with Quill, they report, and then you can just use them quarterly, quarterly, quarter, quarterly. Um, so that's the thing with Quill. Uh, somebody said, I have a Navy Federal business account. Should I apply for a business credit card and try a Net30 account for you could do both, Ricardo. It's just really going to depend on your goals, what I suggest and what we talk about, you know, on this live stream. You want to get at least four vendor trade lines before you start applying for bank funding. That's just my personal opinion, my recommendation. You don't have to do what I do. But typically, what I the reason why I say build the business profile is because let's say you don't build the business profile and you get a $10,000 chase card. Well, let's say if you took the time to build a business profile, get the four to five trade lines, and then you apply for that same chase card. Now you're looking at a twenty, thirty thousand dollar approval. So, um, yeah, that's why I say do it. Uh, who reports office rental to the business bureaus? That would be um, 
Opus. Opus, Robert. So in the description, in the link below, I'll put a link to sign up for Opus. One thing to keep in mind with Opus, just make sure that you do your homework on the location that you choose. Don't just blindly choose a location on Opus. Do some research, do some due diligence, ride by it, go back to uh, week two's video, um, ride by the location. If you can, get out your car, go inside before you sign up. But I'll put a link in the description for uh, for Opus. I love Opus. Um, yes, uh, Quill does report, Norman. Um, let's see. What is the information for NTB uh, Facebook user? If you actually go and just search NTB in a Facebook group, the 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 sauce is in there. So type in NTB, it'll come. Up. Uh, Nanya said, "Do you have a hack to get a Navy Federal account?" Um, tap in with me, Danya. I can I can see what we can do to get you a Navy Federal. We had uh, I think my homie B Shaw was hooking people up, um, uh, for inquiries. Yes, tap. Yes, I'll post the inquiry removal uh letter in the Facebook group. Absolutely. Uh, what's a good reference if there is no direct contact to your accounts? I don't know what you mean by that, Sean. I would say maybe customer service for whatever. Is is this in regards to like vendor credit or like a bank um, account? Like I, I'm trying to find out what you mean. I know you have mentioned it before, but how soon should one pay an invoice after making purchase in tier one? Usually seven to 10 days early. Uh Again, I can't see your uh, Facebook uh, name, but yeah, usually seven to 10 days early. Uh, follow up with them last week. Experian want me to buy the report first before they will combine. Ah, yeah, they're going to make you spend some money, Rev. Yeah, they're going to make you spend a bag. It, it... Yes, man, it's America, man. But i mean it's kind of worth it brev because then you you combine you'll have all your trade lines and then you know you can at least for a year you can update your profile on experience but yeah they're gonna make you spend a bag i spent the bag with them though rev but i mean this is what i do so i had to kind of invest in, in what i do but it's just one of them things rev they just they greedy man <laughs> Uh, Rashonda said Opus. Yes, Opus does report your trade line to Dun and Bradstreet. Um, so yeah, we love Opus because again, when we talk about week two setting up bank compliance, they give you a physical location, give you a local number, fax number, and they give you a one eight hundred number. And for ten dollars more, uh, so it's ninety nine dollars a month, and then for ten dollars more, they actually do live attendant, so you can actually get someone to answer your phone calls live for you. Uh, so that's why we love Opus, and I'll put a link in the description for anyone who wants to sign up for Opus. Love Opus. Uh, Keisha said, can't find you on Facebook. I'm in the Facebook group. Just type my name in, Audrey Truesdale. That's me. I'm in the Facebook group. So tap in with me, Miss Keisha. Does Navy Federal do business loan? Credit unions usually don't do. Yes, they do. That's that's. I, I, I would disagree with that, Stacks. A lot of credit unions do business lines of credit, business loans, business vehicle loans, uh, Navy Federal being one of them specifically. Yes, they do business loans, business lines of credit, uh, business vehicle loans. So I will have to disagree with you on that one, Stacks. Credit unions is the plug for business. Um, three trade references. Oh, OK. Got you. So and that's a good question, Sean. What I would do. For trade references, I would get Suma Office Supplies and I would get um, Strategic Network Solutions. And I'll put a link to the description below for both of those trade lines because the owner of that company and you can actually get Ohana. So you could get three vendor accounts. Now, some may argue you're going to spend some money with a trade line that doesn't report. Uh, like I said, Suma reports at tier one to business Equifax, but they will give you uh, a trade reference. So you could get, you know, one, two of those and get a trade reference that way. Yep, 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 yep. All right, let's see, let's see. You're very welcome, Facebook user. We're going to wrap this thing up. What's a good merchant account to use for invoicing? I like uh, Stripe for invoicing. You can use QuickBooks. 
Uh, well, it's not a payment processor. PayPal, Square. I like Stripe, though. I like Stripe because Stripe will give you funding. Um, pretty decent interest rate. They take about 13% of whatever you bring into the Stripe account uh, as payment on the you know Stripe Capital loan. So um, I think they gave me a couple dollars, and I didn't take it at the time. I probably should have, but uh, I didn't. Um, yeah, Rev. I know it's it's, it's worth it, man, because you're gonna have your you're gonna have your profiles combined, and then you know at least for the year you could check it regularly, make changes and updates and stuff. So, but yeah, they're gonna get that money out of you, Rev. It's unfortunate, man. Um, Tyrone says can't find your Facebook group. If you just type in Business Credit Builders Group on Facebook, it should come right up. Or just type in CBCA Network. Uh, but yeah, uh, King Tech asking for a friend, would they be able to just add a sweet number to a home address for business? Yes, hold on, we got the homie Jay back on the stream. Hold up, what up, though? Hey, so real quick for what up, what up? in Ohana, before anybody, if you haven't done it already, I was gonna put a chat on like it's too much to type <laughs> instead okay. of doing just the ebook, ask them for. It is called a um it's the web root spyware, yeah, some some yeah, something like that. That is ninety nine dollars and it reports for an entire year, they said, versus doing the one eighty dollar one that reports once. Ooh. Yeah, so Ohana, and I mean it's sort of pointless, I know, but I I mean you have I did it because I'm like I'd rather you report for a year versus one month. And That's it's not nine dollars a month, it's ninety nine dollars one time. Damn. Yeah, so Ohana and Suma have it because they're, I guess, sister or partner companies right. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, so you can do people. the same thing on both. So I have two spywares, but I'm like, maybe if you have more than so many computers computer. or electronics, you can use it. But I'm like, just the value in it alone, I was like, I had to buy that versus buying just one nah. $80 ebook. Now that makes perfect sense. I mean, yeah, I just wanted to share that real quick. I'm gonna hop back off. I just want to share that so somebody can. (laughs) Now that's a gym. I, I, yeah, that's a gym because I mean, like you said, that uh, um, that'll get you 12 months of reporting for 99 bucks. That's like 12 dollars a month. No, that's like 10 dollars a month. Damn, it's cheap. Let's go with that. It's cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's cheap and it reports. So that's good to know. So y'all just got a gym on the live stream before we wrap this thing up. All right. <laughs> All right. Have a good night. Right. Appreciate you. All right. Um, Stack said, thanks, bro. Appreciate that. My credit union was Westcom, so I will check with them. Yeah, definitely check with them, Stacks. Um, and just in general, man, the credit unions usually, um, they want paperwork. But, man, when you can provide docs, credit unions, man, they, they run it up. They run it up. They will ask for docs, though. So it's, it's a give and take. They give more, but they want more paperwork. Hope that helps. The man with the B, a go giver, take action. Thanks. Save me 4000 Hey, man, you're welcome, Michael. You're very welcome. Very, very welcome. But, yeah, look, y'all. I hope y'all tapped in. I hope y'all took notes tonight. I hope y'all are really out here building this, this this business funding profile, these business credit profiles. Hope y'all out here really getting to it. Um, as always, make sure you like the channel. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, we'll catch y'all next week. Again, make sure you text free to 980-825-4360 to book your free strategy call where we can actually walk you through the 80 payday strategy show you how to build business credit, give you a list of banks in your area, show you how to interview banks, whatever hiccup you're having with getting funding, we can help you get clarity on what you need to be working on to get to the steps you need to be taking to get funding for your business, whether that's business vendor accounts, bank funding, lines of credit, credit cards, etc. whatever the case may be, SBA loans, whatever the case, whatever type of funding, vehicle funding, vehicle financing, the whole nine. Um, text free to 980-825-4360. All right. So, again, tonight we gave y'all a bunch of no fluff, real trade lines that report to the business bureaus. So, stop wasting money with these 
fly by night uh vendor accounts right we we brought my guy on the live stream he said that e-credible is credible so we're gonna rock with e-credible they report to the business bureaus until further notice all right so you heard it here right here on the live stream e-credible is solid a to b we're gonna lead them we're gonna lead them in the dust we're not worried about a to b we just gave y'all 10 gas cars on this live stream so don't even i don't want to hear nothing else about a to b don't at me and no facebook group about no a to b don't hit my instagram don't text me about no a to b don't message me about a to b don't put in the comments about a to b we not talking about a to b all right <laughs> we don't want no smoke with a to b we're not talking about a to b but we gave y'all gas cards we gave y'all you know vendor accounts right some you already heard of some you may not have you may not have heard of hd supply it's a great tier one vendor that reports it done in Bradstreet. Seaton, another great bit tier one vendor that reports it done in Bradstreet. Um, Print Country, they report. So um, what we'll probably do next week, again, for everybody who booked their free strategy call up to this point, you definitely going to get a, a, a free gift before the holidays. I know Christmas is damn near 90 days away, but we're going to give you a free gift uh in october so be on the lookout you know uh you'll be getting a text and an email with, with, a, with a free gift if you have not booked your free strategy call if you're watching this in the facebook group what are you waiting y'all know i give up the sauce so i don't understand how you haven't booked a free strategy call yet but text it up text free to the number 980-825-4360 also if you are in the north in the carolinas if you're in north carolina south carolina virginia don't forget october 14th the collaboration tour will be in charlotte north carolina i will be speaking there so i would love to tap in with you i would love to connect with you guys maybe we can connect before the meetup before the collaboration tour maybe we'll connect after the uh, collaboration tour but nonetheless i want to meet each and every one of you everybody who's a subscriber and a supporter of the channel and if you are not subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you hit a like button for the youtube algorithm and uh we're we, we gonna get out of this thing man um somebody tal said wait one more question should one partner with the business credit building service or no need when using these tactics. I'm not sure what you mean, Ty. I don't know exactly what you mean. One more question. Should one partner with a business credit building service or um, no, I would say no, bro. You don't need a business credit building service. Now, our program, we're a little different. We teach you how to build your business profile to get out of tier one and then move on to bank funding. Or if you want to build out the tier one, tier two, I do have something coming out, um, an online training program. Uh, I'll be making an announcement about that next week. Uh, so uh, in the meantime, Tal, uh, if you have not booked your free strategy call, definitely text free to 980-825-4360. And uh, yeah, man, we appreciate everybody uh credit suite uh tile it's just really gonna depend on your goals bro it's really gonna depend on your goals but let's set up a free strategy call before you do that text the number free uh text the word free to 980-825-4360 bro and uh let's let's set up a free call uh miss diane thank you for everything everyone have a good night you very welcome miss diane Y'all shout out to Miss Diane. She is trying to buy some real estate and get into the investment game. So we're gonna do our best to help Miss Diane get those investment properties and uh build this wealth, man. But uh salute to everybody who stuck with me for the live stream. If you catch this in the Facebook group, salute to y'all. Keep rocking, keep you know, doing your thing. And uh we're gonna definitely um, you know, come back next week at 8 p.m. So we'll be back to our regular time next week. And uh, who knows, man, I might do a live stream this weekend, man, with a surprise. You might get a surprise this weekend. So turn your notifications on and uh, we'll catch you on the next one, man. Y'all have a good night.